have you ever encountered, you know, being with, you know, all males in a room, something is degrading is said about a woman, that coworker, your mentee, whoever, and you've, you know, what have you done to kind of change the conversation? You know, you're all progressive guys, great guys. You know, how have you personally been challenged? Because obviously you see women as equals, you look at them for their ideas. Um, and how have you kind of changed the flow of something when you've seen something go wrong and someone, you know, hey, that girl's hot or whatever, and it's just, can you tell us a little bit about that? I don't think mm -hmm. I have been in any conversation like that during the last 10 years, probably. And I haven't seen myself in a very, truly uncomfortable position. I've seen, I've seen once a person say, uh, kind of a, a girl was going on maternity leave and they were like, yeah, we need to make cuts. So she's going out, let's cut her because she's, she's, she just got pregnant. But what the fuck, if you're just gonna leave that and I'm, I'm out, is she gonna need to fire me? It was the one moment mm -hmm. in my career that, mm -hmm. that had to happen, but mm -hmm. it, they had to cross a big line of mm -hmm. outrageous. Yeah. But other than that, I don't think again that this, is, this belongs to this generation anymore. Mm -hmm. I think it, it may have happened the guys before us, but it just doesn't happen. That animosity, the, the enemy line is, right now, is a, a imaginary line. I would, I would just challenge you guys, because you're all in leadership positions, so a lot of people are performing a little bit to you and showing you their best sides. So I, I know that it's still going on. <laughs> 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 it's, not, <laughs> it's not gone. <laughs>